two savvy veteran teams on the court. So you don't expect a lot of mistakes or sloppy play tonight. Yeah, definitely a lot of experience on the floor. So teams will play the right way. These guys know exactly what they're doing. If both squads can keep things tight, we could be in for a very competitive game. Now Denver's starting five. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. And it's Porter in at the three. Four, three, and he parries his first look. How about that smooth shot from the arc for Porter? He's got such a confident release and deep range, too. Vanderbilt, a screen on Murray. Here's Russell, rejected by Jokic. Now Murray tries to spin move. Pass to Jokic. Fires the three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. You know, when Jokic is this well positioned, he's deadly making the catch and shoot look seamless. Jamal Murray suffered a terrible knee injury back in April of 2021, tearing his ACL late during that season and missing over a year of basketball as a result. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Shot is good by Gordon. Well, you've got to give Gordon the ball when he's down inside. I mean, he can really score it in there. Clark, for a guy like Murray, ACL injuries used to be a potential career ender. Not anymore, though. You're exactly right, VA. I mean, with the advances in modern medicine and rehabbing from injuries, the way these guys strength train, it really is remarkable that they're able to come back. And in many cases, be better than they were before after what used to be a career-ending injury. And that's thanks to doctors and physical therapists. The modern medicine change has changed the NBA, elongating careers for sure. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's Murray. Up and over, Russell. Lots of room. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. You know, I really like seeing this from Murray. Looking to get his open teammates involved. Being a willing passer is impressive to his teammates. Now, here is James. Pass to Vanderbilt. Davis from long range. The rebound by Murray. Denver has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist with that last one. Russell to pass to James. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with the Lakers becoming the second oldest player ever to lead the league in that category. Man, that assist title for LeBron, an incredible accomplishment for someone of his size, Clark. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did, because you are a factoid machine, but the only player taller than LeBron to lead the league in assists. Wilt Chamberlain, when you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been Braun's finest season. And stolen by Green. Jokic with it. Bamba covering. Bamba against Jokic. Pass to Caldwell Pope. We've got 128 left to play in the first. They set a pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot from 12. And here's Porter outside. The Lakers with a rebound. And here is Bamba. And it's Hachimura missing. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And here's Brown for three. The rebound by Bamba. The Lakers trail. Hachimura finds James. Right wing. Here's Reeves. And it's James with the jam. Boom! LeBron. He still got major bounce and force on the fly. Brown against Schroeder. Brown passes to Porter. Back to Brown. 
Green with a screen on Schroeder. Here's Brown. Out of bounds, it'll be Lakers ball. And the Lakers making a change here. Beasley's checked in. Bryant, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Smith comes in for Caldwell Pope. 26 seconds left in the first quarter here. Out to the wing. Machi Burrow from long range. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. And you know, we all know Schroeder can score now, but they're a nice assist to his wide open teammate. Here's Porter. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. The Nuggets on top. They lead by one. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And from what you've seen from the Nuggets, what's your take so far? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. On the floor for Denver, getting going in the second. We've got Jeff Green. Aaron Gordon is out there with Thomas Bryant. And it's Murray, and it's Smith in at the one. Davis down low, defended by Gordon. Davis can't hit. Denver has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Pass to Murray. And he drives in. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Boy, that's a nice take and make by Murray. A scoring guard with tremendous skills and confidence. Najee, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Jackson comes in for Smith. And Aaron Gordon Grant, growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, San Jose. Yeah, Aaron, using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. Now, we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. Jackson with it. Russell covering. Murray against Hachimura. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his first foul of the game. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. And a switch here also for Denver. Jokic is checked in. Now here's Murray. Let's the three fly. And it's blocked by Davis. He goes up and finished off by Davis. Davis, such a terror in the open court with his size and speed. That's a really lethal combination. Here's Jackson driving in. What a terrific move that is. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Over to the wing. Here's Reeves. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got three assists in the game. Exactly what you want from your point guard. Nice dime to the open teammate by Russell. Now here's Murray. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Nicole Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Brian? Well, it's working for him, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Jackson. Clock at four. 
And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got eight. Very effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. Perhaps the biggest surprise in the league last year, the Lakers missing the playoffs. Before the season, lots of people had them winning it all. Here's Caldwell Pope. Give him eight points now. Back to Jokic. Shoots over Davis. The shot, no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. And a disappointing 2021-22 season for the Lakers, Clark. What went wrong? Well, they just couldn't stay healthy, B.A., and we know that's such a critical component when you're talking about trying to win it all. I mean, you got to be healthy. Injuries to LeBron and A.D., they missed a combined 78 games. You're not winning anything when your top players don't play at least 80% of your game. You're not going to, it's not happening. Um, that's almost a full season missed between those two guys. And so when you're older, sometimes the injury bugaboo can jump up and bite you. And it sure got the Lakers last season. The Lakers call timeout. Get up, get down. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Bamba's checked in for Anthony Davis. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. LeBron, he's checked in for Beasley. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. Now, here is James. Great D that time from Porter. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. Bryant, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Thomas Bryant. Denver in the lead. 54 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Boy, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the day. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First team foul. And he drops a first. At the line to Los Angeles, Muhammad Bamba. He's off on the second. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good yes. shot here, B.A. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball move. Hachimura with a screen on Brown. Pass to Bamba. Back to Schroeder. James against Porter. James goes in. Second chance effort, and it's good on the lay-in. James has got five now. Boy, that's just a strong play by LeBron, winning the rebound and sending it right back up. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. The fourth team foul. 11 seconds left in the first half of this game. Kick out to Brown. Three-pointer. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Reeves. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's the Denver Nuggets. They have a nice nine-point cushion. For the Jabberwocky. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Denver's gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. We've got Davis, Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Reeves in at the two-guard spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Deflected! You know, one area where I think Porter Jr. has surprised a bunch of folks is his shot blocking. I mean, he's got a natural knack for doing it. First team ball. And the Nuggets shooting 55% for the game so far. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. Now, here is James. 
Five points in the game. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. James has gone three of seven shooting from the field. Pass to Jokic. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team. Here's Murray. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. Uses the glass on the layup. Murray's got five. Murray locked in on the task at hand, not allowing the defense to bother his shot at all. The shot by James, no good. So it's Denver now. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Outside Murray. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Davis, the pass to Russell. James, outside. Again, the miss by James. For Denver, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Outside Porter. Back to Murray. Pass to Jokic. Just five on the clock. And it's blocked by Davis. Davis's anticipation and timing. So good at the defensive end. This guy is a shot blocking machine. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Beasley's checked in for Reeves. Smith, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Russell to pass to Vanderbilt. Jokic against Davis. The three from Russell. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Denver has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Here's Caldwell Pope. Pass to Jokic. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You know, one measure of Nikola Jokic's growth as a player is his triple-double tally. I mean, he's already among the NBA career leaders in that category. Brown, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. Well, among active players, only LeBron and Westbrook are ahead of Jokic in triple-doubles, Clark. And B.A. with a lot of runway left in front of him. I mean, the Joker figures to keep climbing up that list. I don't know if he'll catch Russ or the big O at the top, but he's going to be in the neighborhood. That puts them over the foul limit with plenty of time left. They have to be careful now. You know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the breadth and depth of his versatility. You know, he's a really good passer, maybe the greatest passing big guy we've seen in a long time. And that, to me, is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. A different look for Denver. Bryant comes in for Nikola Jokic, and Green is subbed in for Gordon. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Brown passes to Bryant. Smith with it, covered by Schroeder. It's Brown on the wing. Brian, a screen on Beasley. Brown with it, Bamba covering. And that one, good! Brown's got 10 points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Schroeder. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Mamba, the pass to Beasley. And again, the Lakers, no good. The Nuggets have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Smith against Schroeder. Smith passes to Bryant. Pass to Porter. And here's Brown. Over Beasley. Brown can't hit. Schroeder against Smith. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. 
Denver has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Here's Green. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And he's able to get it back. And that one's good. Brian, time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. A different look for Denver. Najee, he's checked in for Michael Porter. And it's Jackson in for Smith. Schroeder finds Achimura. Outside for Davis. Off target from three-point range. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Jackson with it. From deep. And that's not going to go. And so it's Denver with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. A big dip. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. And Denver, looking at who they've got to start the fourth. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. Jamal Murray out there with Bruce Brown. And it's Caldwell Pope in at the small forward position. And LeBron has added the three-point shot to his bag, especially the last several years. Outstanding in knowing when to let that three fly. The Nuggets shooting around 50% in the game so far. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Jokic with it. The Nuggets need to get one up. Gordon. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Gordon. The Nuggets making a switch here. Porter Jr.'s checked in. And for the Lakers, they're shooting just 38% for this game so far. Vanderbilt, a screen on Porter. Here's Reeves. Back to James. There's the three. And another three for the Lakers. You know, really impossible to know what James is thinking in advance. I mean, especially in these sets. The ball's knocked loose. And out of bounds, the Lakers will take it. Murray against Russell. Out to the right wing. Puts the move on. It's James with the drive. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Yeah, you know, the defense just hasn't been able to keep up with them in this one. The transition game as a result of good defense has been very strong. Murray from outside sinks the tray. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player of all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. Here's James. Vanderbilt, a screen on Porter. Here's James. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. It's on Nikola Jokic. Pass to Murray. Back to Jokic. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Nuggets lead by 13. Even when you try to lock him up, Jokic finds a way. What a nice, delicate touch from him. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Aaron Gordon. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic. 
becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Hey, there are guys who have played as long as LeBron, okay? But how many have maintained their physical abilities the way he has so late in his career? I think that's a short list. Now a timeout called by Denver. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Nikola Jokic. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. Wow, did this game really turn out to be his show? A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Guys, thanks a lot. I had a chance to hear what Mike Malone was saying to his team. So far, he's happy with their play, but he wants to prevent any kind of a letdown. He told the team, stay aggressive. Don't play not to lose. We want to push the action and try to break their spirit. Good job there, Ali. Thanks. And Nikola Jokic breaking barriers at the center position, Greg. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2,000-1,500 season, it never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center, we've never really seen that before. Pass to Jokic. And that'll be Denver's ball as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets able to keep possession here. And the Lakers making a change here. Hachimura's checked in. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Shot clock at six. And Murray launches it from deep. And they recover it. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Outside Murray for three. Gordon. The Nuggets with another miss. Los Angeles has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Here's James. And it's James with the jam. And they're on a big run to make this game interesting. Can't let up now. I think they will. I mean, they're close enough to taste it. So they're going to keep that pressure on and keep coming at them. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his third foul so far. Brown, he's checked in for the Nuggets. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Switch, 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 switch. Murray against Russell. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Outside, Brown. Oh, Denver gets it back. Jokic finds Murray. Tries again. And the shot's good. Jokic has got four points in the quarter. Jokic never lacking in terms of getting his body involved, throwing his body around, using that bulk and power to grab rebound. Pass to Reeves. Outside for Russell. From deep. Denver grabs the miss. Who poked away. Stolen by Russell. Who not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. He can knock it down from range, convert at the rack, and there you see the pull-up by D'Angelo. Multi-faceted as a score. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Being opportunistic, just taking what the defense allows. You know, more and more big guys in the league have that mid-range shot in their bag now, and they need it. Jokic against Davis, outside Porter. Oh, sweet move. James with the block. Phenomenal work on defense. James using his athleticism to make a statement with that block. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. A nice shot by Smith. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yep, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. LeBron James is clutch. Not the first time he's done that, nor will it be the last. Beasley against Jackson. And so the ball out of bounds. Beasley touched it last. 
substitution on the court. There's six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Los Angeles foul. Austin Reeves. That's his first personal foul. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. His defensive quickness sets him apart. And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're down by seven. Only two seconds left to play in the fourth. Your thoughts, guys? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. We're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Substitution on the court. So it's the Nuggets taking the W in a close one. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Ali LaFour... Thank you.